It's the 2022 Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation Program of the Lagos State Government. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, Executive Council members and other dignitaries converged on the Lagos Continental Hotel, Victoria Island, to support and celebrate those they describe as emerging total women. The Commissioner in charge of Women Affairs Ministry explains what the state government is doing to reduce poverty. Our mandate from the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation remains building resourceful women in order to improve the lives of female residents as Lagos State has zero tolerance to idleness of any form. The guest speaker, Mrs. Hasanatu Adigbite, is the Executive Director of Women in Management, Business and Public Service, and she encourages women to remain steadfast in whatever they engage in to achieve their dreams. When you have an opportunity, it has a time limit. Don't waste it. Make a significant impact. Let your story be told. Let generations hit their chest and say, because of you, I am where I am today. Can I hear a woman's... Governor Babaji Desonwolu assures the people of improving the welfare of women and raising their capacity to become self-sufficient. In all of the grants that we give out, you know, 60 to 65 percent of them, we deliberately ensure that, you know, are women. They're not just vulnerable. They're people that we need to specially take care of. And that's what we're doing. This is a sure path to attaining our full growth and development potentials as a state. It is also a testament to the policy of inclusiveness, which our administration is ever committed to and always ensuring that we keep to it. And the word of assurance for those waiting to benefit from the state empowerment program. We have 19 skills acquisition centers where women, youth, men, anybody living in Lagos State can walk into and learn a, st a skill. The duration ranges from six months to 12 months. And we have a four weeks short term skills training. And all of these trainings are free of charge. So far, over 65,000 women have been empowered since the administration of Governor Sanwolu, and the state government promises to do more for the people of the state.